Hello again. Welcome back to the channel. This time we are going to have a look on, on the mini excavator and freezing and all, all the related stuff. And I thought that this time I would do all this in English. The uh, reason for that is that I tried doing subtitles for the previous videos and I noticed that that is really time consuming. So uh, instead, of, instead of doing that, I will try to try to use English instead. So it, it will save time later on. There were quite a bit of quite a quite a bit of people who wanted to see the subtitle version. So I guess there are demand for having having this kind of language. So let's have a look first on this toolbox that came with the excavator. There are there's a, this kind of small bits and pieces here that one can use. This is a bit loose oil filter another one pliers Picket pliers, screwdriver, hex, millimeter size tool, and then one picket tool. And there was this kind of uh, freeze gun, and it came with this kind of point, which is what they are using in this this excavator, these ones, and uh, you press it here, and then you fill the grease with that. There is no grease at all on the machine at the moment, so we really need need to get started doing this. Also, the days are getting longer and longer, quite a quite fast it's end of january now so so i kind of kind of anxious anxiously waiting to get towards summer so instead of using that i'm planning to first of all change the nipples to these kind of more standard ones and i also had a different grease gun this is a has a one specialty that normally when you want to fill grease gun, it, you open this this up, then uh, then you have all grease here after you have been using it. You pull this back and you can change here a new tube which you open and then you close and then you get try to get all the air out of the system. And uh, that is that is how people have been doing it. A long time and it's messy stuff and nobody wants to do it if they can avoid it. So instead of doing that, uh, we have this. What's the name of the system? The shuttle loop, loop shuttle. Anyway, it has screws on the end. And you just take this this grease gun, this uh, threads on the end inside there. Oh, actually, I can open it. This is only a support. So this goes here, hopefully. Yes, like this. And this is only supporting the plastic, so when you are using it, it should hold it nicely. And let's see. You should get all the air out first. 
Okay, this doesn't look so promising that I thought. There's no grease in the, in the gun at the moment at all, so... Oh, now it's coming. Yes, I just pressed a bit here, so it helped, helped a lot. Then we can use flexible hose. Which one was from this? Hmm. Doesn't matter if whatever fits goes in there. This looks like less Chinese. Yes, this is the one. No, it's 17. No, 16. No, oh, yeah, here we go. And now we need to change the nipples. Um, I have a bunch of those. Those are in the corner. Let's compare this. Looks really good. It's a 10. So this is our first test subject. idea is that you fill, fill the, uh, if there's a bearing, the bearing, but usually there's probably just a sleeve here and then the pin. Any, any uh, surfaces that move should get grease and what you do, you pump in the grease so long that you see that it's coming from the side, like here. So at that point you know that there's enough. And then, I mean this suitably adjusted is, is, is not so easy. Yes. Okay.
the people so we'll drop the priest. No, at least try because this is stuck. It's not taking anything in. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, it was tightly against the pin, so no wonder it didn't take any grease on the other on this side. I need a shorter one. Oh, yeah, oh, I leave it loose, but then it will leak on the outside. Let's see. This needs, needs to be shorter. Let's do that. Okay, let's try. Let's try that. This is the this is the one that was on the machine and these here, these are the ones that I have. These are shorter. Let's use this. Should work better. How we get the grease gun out under pressure from the other nipple. It's going to be. I probably have to unscrew the pipe. Ah! It went inside. Ha! Ah! Okay. Okay, let's try that one again and we'll get the lost nipple out later. That's there. We could do those also. Get it out. When it's under pressure, it's difficult or impossible to get it out, but luckily, this seems to be leaking nicely so it helps helps for 
that perhaps it's leaking because I have this loose on purpose so it would come out more easily but it seems that it's not having any effect. <coughs> Just so we need to change that nipple. Let's do that first. That's the 80s. The original one was 8 millimeters, the new ones are 7. <coughs> but it's okay, the threads are the same. These are 1.5 millimeter threads. Sorry, this is M8 point times 1.0 millimeter. Yeah, it was the hydraulics was 1. Point, some 1.5. The small ones I get from these corner nipples. That's the, this is M6, I think. So I just happen to have these and I just take out this tip. This is nice and small and suitable for, for us. Where's the seven socket? Yes, looks like it's about there. Now let's see if we get some grease in. Yes, the shorter nipple helps. The longer one was directly <coughs> against the pin, so it couldn't push any grease out. <sighs> That's quality from China, I guess. But it was kind of something that I expected that there are going to be issues like this. And you should also expect that if you get stuff from the machine, but, but it's, it's this kind of import that they just bring it here and put it together. This is somehow leaking air into the system because it's always I have to push it again. I don't like it. Let's see. No. Nice. Hmm. I wonder if that end cap should have been removed. But probably not. Yes. What's missing? Uh, did we do the 
boom already. Everything except that very end. Then we have a have the mechanism that rotates rotates the machine and those nipples are somewhere not here. Let's see the other side. Probably here. No? Ah, they're over there. Where's the So there are two nipples here that have gaps or holes. This I should try to find out how they are connected and where they are going. So I probably need to open the machine a bit to get better look. I want to see which one is which. We have a battery over here. There's pipes going. Okay, I can, I can see the inner closest to the boom is going. That's going to the big rotating gear, I guess. It's really close to the pinion motor, but, 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 let's see. Can I see the other one? Where is going? Yeah, the other one is going. No, this one is which? Yeah, the inner one closest to the boom is going to the rotating mechanism and the other one is going to the pinion motor gears, I guess. Well, there's nothing much we can do other than Unfortunately, there were no good instructions in the manual, but I think we need to grease and rotate the machine and grease again. So for that, we need to start it and drive it outside. So.
okay it's just wooden back here so And it's wet here because there's no ventilation at all there. And it's not even painted. Oh, what should we do? Do we care? I don't know. Maybe, maybe a bit. It's going to rust anyway. That is how much and how fast. I could put some paint over there. I have some paint uh, somewhere. Not over there. Hmm. Any base cloth paint would be nice. Black pine primer. This is nice. We'll use this one. This is alcohol. IPA. It's a propanol alcohol, so trying to get most of the grease and that kind of stuff out of here. Okay. Now, <clears throat> now we need a bit of ventilation. But that's easy to arrange here, so just open the door a bit and there's a lot of nice fresh air coming. Let's let we will let that dry a bit and let's see about the side of these. There's probably a similar situation over there. Ow. Shit. Yeah, I would need to take the rails out first and then I could take the seat. That's what we'll do. We do it the right way this time.
No niin, that, that can dry a bit and let's take this plastic out and we'll take all of it, which is why I started to disassemble the tray, but that's what you get. You get more issues when you investigate more. Ah, oh, it's a bit wet, but doesn't matter. Let's put this in and I can start from the from the back. But since we have also noticed that going on here, we'll do, not do that yet. Let's keep the, keep the top of the uh, engine plate. What is this? Ah, I'll get Now we can get to the engine compartment and uh, let's take a light. I already had a look over there and there's a, hmm, there was a bit of oil in the bottom and still is kind of residue. I'm hoping that it's remnants of somebody pouring over the funnel, but I want to clean that so I can see what is the real deal over there. Let's see what can we remove to get better access. This is solid all the way to the front, so we need to take five bolts out if we want to get from that side. In the back, there's at least four bolts, and then and there's these. I don't know why. What is this holding? Probably nothing. I think this is for extra cooling or accessories. So we take the back out. Yeah, this is just holes for pipes or cooling hoses or whatever. Okay, that's that's a big ass hex. This one seems to fit.
let's hope we don't don't to touch that one. Let's see. Hmm. It's a bit quiet over there. There's a slide in the counterweight. You can move it out a bit, so that's what I'm going to do. If I get, get it open. at all. Good thing we... Okay, this is... Okay. This gives us... us. Nicely more room. Now we can, can see his. What is the situation? First things first, let's check motor oil. Because I didn't fill this. This was already filled when I got it. Okay, there is oil. Is there too much? Okay, it's high is over there and that's low and it's about there, so it's nice. Nicely where it should be. Next we could check the hydraulic hoses that they are tight. Doesn't budge, which is good. <coughs> How to does that? What is this? Less than so it's twenty two. I guess. Or twenty one. 
At least we have a 21 here. No. Oh. And there is 22. That was not all the way tight, but it was pretty good. Pretty well tight. I'm tightening the oil filter bolts a bit. Other one was not fully tight, but this was. And what else? Oh, there's a, there's a separate nice drain for the oil change. And over there, that's a nice touch. I like it. Oh. Okay, then I guess it's just clean the bottom to see the any leaks. Yes, leaks, and then we can get, get on with it. This should do it. Extensions and corner. That's tight. Ah, that's, ah, that's good. I hope it's just a spillage from the filling process. That's quite probable, actually. Much cleaner. We'll know soon. Okay, let's put this all the way back and tighten it. It's just going to drop off if I pull it. Let it come more. Hmm. Or is it? No, it's not. It cannot come more. Yeah, we'll tighten it here. Anybody knows is this the right thing to do? Please comment. Should be it. I'll clean the inside of the cover also.
okay, that's that boat is gone. We are going to need a not on the other side. It's not the bolt, but the fixing flange on the machine. Okay, I don't have that size at the moment, so we'll do it later. Yeah. basically ready to start the machine so we could start the process of greasing the rotating bearing and pinion motor so I think I'll just put here some grease first no idea how much it is needed then we will See the bucket, what's there? I think we'll start the machine and then we see what's what the uh, nipples are on the bucket and then we drive it outside and turn 90 degrees and grease the main bearing, big rotating bearing. And the first put you away. Did get some grease on the main pair. This is leaking air probably from that connection. I didn't put Teflon over there, so that's probably why this is so shitty at the moment. But there's one point, one point here that we can. This is also empty, there's no nipple here, so. Okay, I think we should fix the grease gun also so first. So. At least I put it as tight as I could, but that's not air tight. And it's either, either this is shitty otherwise, but most probably it's leaking back into the there yeah, from here when it was pulling the grease instead of that is pulling air somewhere that is the one possible location that it could happen Okay, let's see if it works better this way. Okay. 
No, was wird? Das Licht. So it was leaking from the two threads. So you have to tighten it very well when, when you put it in. Oh, now it's dirty. As it should. Nice. We solved the problem with the squeeze gun. I was wondering why it's so difficult. Now we just need to clean out the squeeze from the wrong places. This is the downside of this, this work. Okay, if we have a leak inside the engine bay, do we have more water or oil or not? I'll be using it a bit. Looks nice and clean, just at the moment. I can live with that very well. There's a bit of moisture. It's probably also from the first fill up. Okay. That was the first part of taking this machine into use. So I think um, uh, we have plenty of time before the summer, even though it kind of feels it's the summer is getting close really fast, but actually it isn't. So we'll uh, work with the attachment and attachment hydraulics next time. Until then, see you.